While Disney is a household name, they've definitely proven they've forgotten how to give their customers good products, and now that they've released the new Lion King prequel films trailer, it is getting absolutely obliterated by moviegoers. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now, over the past few years, Disney has definitely released a lot of massive flops, and while they've tried their very best to bank on remakes and, of course, live action adaptations, a lot of them have not gone particularly well for them. Now, the original Lion King, um, adaptation that came out just a few years ago did pretty good at the box office and with moviegoers. People are not very happy about this prequel movie. This is a That Park Place article. It says, Pride Rock isn't a very proud place today. The new trailer for Disney's major holiday blockbuster effort landed on YouTube and it landed with a thud. Now, I, of course, grew up watching and loving The Lion King, Mulan, The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, all of the movies that they're trying to re-release and remarket. But when it comes to things like prequels, we're definitely uh, oversaturated with them. Not every single movie needs a prequel, and not every single movie needs a follow-up, even if it makes a lot of money. But of course, that's what these companies do. They continue to bank off of nostalgia, and they try to just keep... Um, you know, recycling the same content instead of creating anything good because they're not actually hiring people who are good at their jobs. And now that they've released this Mufasa the Lion King teaser trailer, audiences are not happy with it. Mufasa is off to a very rocky start as dislikes for the trailer have already surpassed the number of people who clicked the like button. And for an animated film based on a beloved franchise and considering the astronomical budget likely to make photorealistic CGI lions, this is a terribly worrying sign for Disney. As you can see, right now it is sitting at 5 million views, 86,000 likes to 166,000 dislikes. So it doesn't look like the likes are going to catch up to the dislikes, and there's 9,500 comments of people roasting this trailer and saying nobody asked for this, nobody wanted this, and we can see how desperate you've become. And that is definitely something that I've talked about a lot on this channel is how desperate Disney really is. They are losing tons of money right now on streaming and on a lot of the movies that they're launching. And if we look at the past few live action adaptations, they haven't gone well. Let's look at Mulan came out in 2020. I absolutely loved Mulan growing up and I would have totally watched a you know, live action version of it if it was actually decent. But unfortunately, this one wasn't. It is sitting at a 2.9 user score and even the critics were not big fans of it. I, of course, do not really believe critic scores and trust critics, but at the same time, when even they are giving it a relatively just okay or, of course, negative score, it definitely doesn't bode well for the company because, of course, we're talking about shill media here. And then, of course, we had The Little Mermaid uh, that came out last year. Uh, 59 critic, I was shocked that the critics didn't end up liking this, but users hated it. It is sitting at a 2.4 user. And, of course, there are even more releasing over the next few years that are already mired in controversy, like Snow White because of Rachel Zegler, her coming out and saying that she never really grew up loving uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and that she wanted this to be a modern remake. And she's so happy that it's going to be a movie for modern audiences because she thought the prince uh, was a creep in the original and she thought that it just wasn't you know, a very good movie overall. And now that we're seeing something like Mufasa coming out, of course, people are just very underwhelmed with the idea of them putting out this prequel. Because, of course, 
I'm sure it is going to make some money in theaters, but is it going to make a lot? I don't really know. At this point, the first one did see a lot of success. It made over a billion dollars at the box office, which of course means that they barreled forward with this one and thought, oh wow, we're going to make another billion dollars. But judging by this initial feedback, it doesn't look like a lot of people uh, are going to go and see it, or if they see it, they're not going to be paying for it without a drop of nobility. So this movie literally retcons Mufasa's whole conversation with Simba, making him the first king of the Pride Lands. Yep, and that is the problem, is we have seen people at Disney over the years throw away source material, their own source material, in order to, you know, make movies for modern audiences and to update franchises. If you are going to release a prequel, you have to follow the content that preceded it and the lore that preceded it. But unfortunately, they're not doing that. Of course, the good old Rings of Power meme template is here. The part where Rafiki told Mufasa, your wizard Harry sent chills up my spine. I think that's absolutely hilarious. It would have been so cool to see this as hand-drawn animation in the style of the original Lion King. There are a million things that they could have done differently to make this way cooler, and they just didn't do any of them. When he t said, it's Mufasa in time, I felt that. Um... Uh, of course, when Mufasa said you're gonna need a bigger boat, my jaw dropped in awe. It is just hilarious to see people react this way because that's what Disney has become, is a giant joke. They are not putting out content that people want to see. They're not listening to our feedback and we're not criticizing the content that they're putting out because we hate it and we want it to fail. I want movies and TV shows and entertainment to be great. I want them to continue to try to make good content, but unfortunately, Disney doesn't want to make good content. They don't want to do a 180 and start listening to us and actually realizing we are criticizing content to try to make it better and to get them to understand we want to give them our money. They just have not deserved it over the past couple of years. While I personally gave up on Disney many years ago and I do not get excited for any content they put out anymore, it is still a shame for the people who want them to turn things around and actually, you know, try to make good content again. While I don't have a lot of hope, I know there still are a lot of people out there who think that one day they'll magically change, but unfortunately they have continued to prove otherwise that they are not willing to listen, they are not willing to change what their big plans are and ultimately um you know it looks like they're just going to continue to be throwing money away on these bs projects that absolutely nobody cares about and it's hilarious to see this number of dislikes because time and time again they do not learn their lesson so it will be interesting to see how high uh the dislike meter actually goes and how many hundreds of thousands of people end up you know trashing this movie over the next coming months uh, and ultimately until the end of the year when this film finally releases and it will be hilarious to see the promotional material continue to get roasted by moviegoers who are sick and tired of being laughed at by Disney and kicked to the curb by this company who wants us to open up their wallets for them. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this, make sure to give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.